Have you ever wondered if you're going to achieve that American dream of home ownership? And more importantly, how about this year? So that's what we're talking about today and we're getting started right now. Hi y'all, Debbie Dobbins here, real estate entrepreneur in Wichita Falls, Texas. And on this channel, we talk about all things Wichita Falls, lifestyle to real estate and everything in between. And if you wanna stay up to the minute on all things Wichita Falls, please subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video on Mondays and a lot of times in between. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. inspired a powerful movement with his famous I have a dream speech. We all have dreams, but through his passion and determination, he sparked interest, ambition, and courage in his audience. And today, reflecting on his message encourages many of us to think about our own dreams and goals and beliefs and aspirations. For many Americans, one of those common goals is owning a home. And I have been doing this for too many decades to talk about, and owning a home is one of the most incredible dreams that you can achieve. Having that dream of a piece of land, a roof over your head, and a place where you can grow and flourish and raise your family, I get chill bumps and I almost start crying when I think about it because having your own home and owning it and not paying a landlord, there's nothing like it. So have you ever wondered if you could make that American dream of home ownership a reality? And more importantly, how about just this year? Let's do it this year. Lots of people call me about becoming first-time home buyers. I love first-time home buyers. If you check out any of my videos, you know that. It truly is still a dream for some though because they don't know what to do and it seems so out of reach. And you know what? Most people don't realize that it is so much closer than you ever dreamt, no pun intended, possible. So a few questions you wanna clear up first, and a lot of them you can find answered on this channel. But I wanna start by just saying that you absolutely can have this dream. I've worked with people for three decades and helped them get for where they believe they can't be and actually achieve that dream in a very short amount of time. So if you wanna set that goal for your intention for this year, I'm, I would love to help you. But you wanna ask yourselves a couple of questions. How can I better understand the process and how much can I afford? Because at the end of the day, you might afford, be able to afford more than you ever thought you could. Because the process of buying a home sometimes can seem daunting. And that's why having a great realtor, me, and a mortgage professional, me, to help you navigate these waters is essential. You need to decide on a couple of key things, like how long you plan on living in an area, school districts you prefer, what kind of neighborhood you want to enjoy, and how much you can afford to spend. Well, guess what? I've already done videos on first-time home buyers, so I want you to go check that video out now. First-time home buyers, the very first step is to get pre-qualified. And I talk about that on the video, and I, as a lender and all other lenders, want to evaluate several factors connected to your financial track record, one of which is your credit history. We wanna see how well you've been able to minimize past debts or make sure that you've been paying your student loans on time, your credit cards and your car loans. So your financial situation has um, a lot to do with your ability to buy a house. So a good rule of thumb is financial planners recommend limiting the amount you spend on housing to 25% of your monthly budget. And these are just very broad strokes. I've got videos on all of these topics. So I just wanted to lay out for you some of the things you wanna to start to look. Number two is how much do I need for a down payment? I get this question so often, I actually did a video on down payment. This video talks about how much your down payment is that you're going to need and all of the myths that go around the idea about down payment. And I've busted most of those myths in that video. You wanna know how much um, monthly payment you can afford, but also you wanna know how much it's gonna cost you to get into that house. So check out that video on down payment and you'll have a better understanding 
of that step. So thankfully, there's many different options and resources in the market to potentially reduce the amount you may think you need to put down. Maybe you're concerned about saving for that down payment. So just start small and be consistent. A little bit each month goes a very long way. You can jumpstart your savings by automatically adding a portion of your monthly paycheck into a separate savings account or house fund. Over time, these automatic deposits actually add up really quickly. So if you'd like any help whatsoever in setting a plan and a goal of how you can save that down payment, create that down payment, get a gift for that down payment, you called the right place. Let me know. I'm always happy to help people find their way to achieving that dream. So additionally, this shelter in place orders helped many who were fortunate enough to keep their jobs to save for that down payment. And this is really key. The combination of low rates right now, which are absolutely historical. And I did another video on rent versus buy. The combination of low rates and the opportunity to save is enabling many, many millennials to move up their home buying timeline. While you don't need to cut all of the extras out, your current lifestyle, making smarter choices and limiting your spending in areas where you can slim down a little bit will make a big difference. So what's the bottom line? If home ownership is on your dream list this year, take a good look at what you can prioritize to help you get there. And if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to contact me, text me, email me, put a comment below because I love to help first time home buyers. You know, to determine the steps you should start to take in this process can be overwhelming and daunting, but it doesn't have to be that way. And you know, by the end of this year or six months from now, you could be owning your very own first home. So let's connect today. And as I always say, y'all come back now, you hear?